I would love to know a bit about the company itself. We started in 2010, as you mentioned, and we actually were part of a DoD research project. And that goal of the project was consume hundreds of different real-time data feeds and then be able to give a query capability to analysts, to data scientists, to developers to you know, quickly be able to deploy stuff uh, into, the, into the field. Um, and at the time, you know, the, you know, NoSQL was all the rage, Hadoop was all the rage. There was still the, the big warehouses, the, the legacy warehouses like the Teradatas. They all really had a, a huge amount of trouble dealing with real-time data and, and being able to do complex query. They could do a few things. They could do a lot of pre-planned things where they did a lot of indexes and, and you know, supplemental data engineering to make it happen. But to be able to really find that needle in the haystack, to really be able to do whatever you want uh, across all that data as it continued to flow, there was a really, you know, no good solution. And so uh, we were there um, as uh, part of that program, and we had this idea, you know, hey, um, the, you know, the GPU is something now in 2010 even where, the, you know, it, it is a tremendously powerful device. So, you know, databases have been designed with one thing in mind for 40 years, that compute is very, you know, scarce resource, and, you know, you should be able to, uh, you know, organize your data prior to asking your query or question so that you use as little compute as possible. Now the GPU, compute is an abundant resource. So what if we flip the equation on its head? Let's make a database that's for, you know, allowing data to continuously stream in to be able to write any query you want without data engineering and leverage all of this abundant compute in a distributed way, um, in a way that allows the developers, the data scientists, analysts to ask any question they want and get back responses quickly with up-to-date data. And that was the basic premise behind Kinetica. Um, and, and we started building, you know, in, in 2010. And, um, you know, we became the, you know, uh, analytic engine for, uh, you know, the speed layer for that program where we were sitting on top of actually, you know, Accumulo uh, and, and t- you know, doing all the analytic uh, temporal and spatial work for, for that project. Over time, you know, we we uh, went into you know larger large enterprises like uh, USPS, which is one of our first flagship customers, um, where you know again they were um, doing something that really required a, a new type of solution. They said, "Hey, we put sensors on every mail carrier. We need to be able to analyze this in real time, and it looks like you're the right solution for that." Um, and you know that was a, one of our first major wins. And from there, we uh, really focused on becoming a. Um, you know, real-time speed layer uh, for the modern enterprise. So are you mostly targeting uh, the public sector, government uh, entities? No, I mean, we have we do have a, a big DOD uh, customer base, but we also have uh, financial, you know, large, uh, large banks, um, you know, large telcos. Uh, anyone who's, you know, trying to take advantage of real-time data from sensor and machine where they want to be able to do advanced analytics that, you know, potentially fuse that real-time data against you know, historical data sets to be able to query it without you know, any type of um, limitation and have it be up-to-date, have it be performant, that's really you know, our sweet spot. 